Hi friends, welcome to our channel Ashok IT. In this video, we will understand what is the difference between git pull command and git fetch command. Alright, first let's understand what is pull, what is fetch and how to work with them. Git fetch command will tell you are there any updates in the git central repository. So you will be having your local repository and github will contain our remote repository. When you execute fetch command, it will check are there any new changes in the remote repository which are not available in our local repository. Git fetch is like a notification command. It is not going to download any changes from the central repository to our local. Whereas git pull command is used to download latest changes from central repository to our local repository directly. Pull is used to download the latest changes whereas fetch is just to check are there any changes available that we need to take it or not. Fine. See here we are having a remote repository. In the github we will create the remote repository for our project. Every project will have one remote repository and we will have our working directory in our system where we are performing the operations that folder is called as our working directory between our working directory and remote repository we will have local repository git local repository will be available in our machine now when you execute fetch command it is going to check are there any new changes in the remote which are not available in our local but it is not going to download them guys remember that if you want to download the latest changes from remote repository to your working directory, then again you need to execute merge command. If you use pull command, it is going to download the latest changes directly. So I hope you got the clarity. What is pull? What is fetch? Pull means download the changes directly. Fetch means just it is a verification purpose. Are there any changes available or not? Now let us understand that clearly. I am taking my github repository. So this is maven web app available in my git account. Let me clone this repository into my working directory. I am opening git bash. I am opening git bash. Git clone repository URL. I am cloning that repository into my local system. So let's get into this project directory maven web app clear so git status currently everything is clean nothing is there to commit i'm going to this repository directly i'm making some changes in the repository for example there is a pom.exam is available i'm going to edit this file directly in the repository junit version is available right so here scope is available version is available scope available i'm removing this scope tag in this pom.xml file just I'm making one change I'm making one change commit this change I'm making a commit I have modified that file just now I have done the commit in the remote repository let's go to our git bash let's execute git to fetch command see here it is saying that there are some changes available in the remote repository but go to our working tree open the pom.xml Open the pom.xml. Check this. Is it downloading that change? No. Still, in my local pom.xml, scope tag is available, which actually deleted in the remote repository. After executing the fetch command, it is notifying that there are some changes available, but it is not downloading those changes. Then how to get those changes now? If you execute git merge command, then you are going to get those changes. If I execute git merge command, then we got those changes. Now see, it is notifying that you need to reload that file. Now that that scope tag got removed from the pom.xml. So as mentioned in this diagram, as mentioned in this diagram, when you execute fetch command, it is just notifying. If you want to take the latest changes, then we need to execute merge command. Suppose if I execute pull command, directly it is going to download the changes. Now. I'm able to take the changes using fetch and merge. For example, 
If I am making one more change in the pom.xml version number from 3.8.1 I am making it as 4.5.2 some random number I am giving. Let's commit the change. Let's commit the change. Now go here execute git pull execute git pull so directly we are able to download the change into our local see here the change is reflecting in our local file in working tree whereas when i use git fetch it is not downloading the change it is just notifying now for example if i execute git pull once again git pull once again it is saying that already up to date there is nothing to take from the remote repository if i execute git fetch command git fetch command i'm not getting anything why because there are no changes in the remote repository so i hope you got the clarity what is fetch and what is pull thanks for watching this video please subscribe to our channel and click on bell icon for more updates see you in the next video